Jesus. My, <sighs> My name's Oliver, and um, it's six o'clock in the morning. And this is the start of my video journal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through my day. And at the end, I'll tell you about why I'm doing this. At six o'clock in the fucking morning. All right, let's fucking start. Hello again. Hopefully it's not too windy and uh, I can be heard. It's coming up to 7 a.m. This is my morning walk. I usually do this about 45 minutes to an hour. Just get some steps in. This is usually one of those things I have no excuses not to do. Um, it gets me out in the morning. It's one of the first things I need to tackle, which is quite big. Um, it's usually quite easy, straightforward, a bit mind numbing. But it said it needs to be done. Depending on the sort of days that I'm having, it can be quite tough. And uh, I just I should, I struggle with it. Uh, this is one of those weeks. One of those weeks we're just fucking grinding. It's been tough. It's probably why I'm starting these video journals. Just to uh, mix things up. And maybe if it reaches anyone, uh, you can help them. And it's more so for me to look back as to how far I've come and just to see that no matter what fucking shit I'm dealing with, I can push through it, which has always been a trouble of mine. Um, so uh, I'm just going to keep on this walk. Uh, during these tough days, I usually put a podcast on so I can, I can just listen to, you know, a story or... Uh, jokes or just whatever so I'm just not enveloped in intrusive thoughts and overthinking uh, which is a lifesaver on we go uh, another hour and uh, hopefully we'll tally up to 7,000 steps uh, that's my majority of the steps done for the day so let's do it absolutely no one here apart from people fishing Oh, it's beautiful. Lucky me, eh? Oh no. Oh no. Ha <laughs> Bloody done it. Easy. Easy peasy. Hey, okay. so, final stretches of the walk. It's actually been a good one. Uh, Thoughts haven't been that bad. Uh, despite the lack of sleep, I've had about five hours. I really want to try and push it. Uh, to wake up at the same time every morning. At 6 a.m. I just I, I love getting up at that time. It's quiet, it's peaceful. Uh, you're up before anyone else, and you know, as I say, it's quiet. And if my anxiety is bad one day, it helps. It's, there's no one there really. So I woke up this morning, weighed myself. I'm at uh, a new low for the first time in two years at 17 stone 10. Uh, I think it's 248 pounds and 112 and a half kilos, uh, which I'm ecstatic about. I just started off this journey at 20 stone, four pounds, three months ago. And I feel such a difference. Uh, steps have gone from 5,000 and now it's at you know just over 10 10,000 12,000 i'm feeling great um, so i make my way back now uh jump straight on the exercise bike for 15 minutes do some core and uh because i did it all at 6 a.m i've done it all before everyone gets up which is uh it's mad to think about but you're also so proud of yourself all right I'll catch you later. Hey, what's going on? So I've had two meals today. I've had my porridge, with a bunch of stuff added in, and some chicken and rice. I'm about to hit a cheeky chest session, which I've been looking forward to all day, well, all week. 
Um, I've been really trying to prioritize my chest because I'm very shoulder dominant. Um, so I'm always looking forward to this session. Uh, I'll record some of the sets and the exercises um, and warm ups. Um, and uh, yeah, let's fucking do it. Hey, it's future me talking. So when I start off these sessions, I usually do a shoulder warm up. So rotator cuffs and a bit of a front delt stretch. These are amazing. They help prime the shoulders, prevent injury. And I didn't used to do these when I was younger and I could feel a massive difference. As you can see, I got a love handle popping out. My bad. But this is the worst place I hold fat. And I hold them like a woman. But they're not all that bad because there's more to grab onto if you get what I mean. Now onto the bench press. So now that I'm building back up, uh, I really want to sort out my form. Uh, back when I was doing 120 kilogram bench, it just wasn't healthy on my shoulders. And now I'm trying to correct that, making sure my shoulders are pinned back, my chest is firing, and maybe even bring my lats and my legs into it if uh, I need those higher weights. Uh, so I did six working sets, and I jumped up in weight three times, 60, 70, and 80. Uh, last week I did 10 reps of 80, uh, this week I only managed to get 8, but that's all good, I was fatigued today and it only means that I have to get 10 uh, next week or even improve it if I'm feeling ready for it, we just got to see. So I've put my love handles away this time, uh, this is my second exercise, the flies. Uh, Currently using bands, I don't have a gym membership at the moment, but thanks for my mate for letting me use his gym without paying. Good man. Uh, I usually use this as a pre-exhaustion, but uh, I swap it around occasionally, put these later on, or second exercise. Uh, it's still just uh, as good for me. On to the last exercise of the session, uh, incline dumbbell press. Uh, please ignore my ripped trousers. Uh, I am a bit stubborn when it comes to clothes and when I get fat I don't seem to get bigger trousers and fortunately I couldn't lose weight in time and I've uh, I broke them this week oops uh, anyway I'm getting a bit too strong for these 20 kilogram dumbbells uh, but two months ago I could barely do about six or eight so I'm happy with the progress I'm making and I'm ready to join a, uh, a bigger gym I, uh, I guess soon yeah so not a long return from the gym session. It was a good session. Um, I was just very tired, very fatigued. And I just felt like the weights were moving a little bit slower than they usually would. Uh, but it's all good though. I've done something. That's all that matters. I could have decided to just lie down, sleep and eat a fucking cheesecake. But that's not what I want to do anymore. It's also fucking dark. Very early. And wet and cold. But screw it, it's going to be like this for an ex god God knows how long, it's British weather, isn't it? So, hey, got to get used to it, got to get wintered. And I've got to keep going with a bloody smile on my face. But still things to do. I've got to eat and go on the bike for 30 minutes and uh, maybe do some university work, see how it goes. It may be too much to do the uni work today. Uh, I'm sure it's how fit I'll in tomorrow because I need to get done. It feels like it's a way away, but it's not. It will, it will come soon until I'm ready to uh, sleep this off and get back to it again tomorrow morning, hopefully with a longer sleep. Day one of the video journal is in the bag. And I absolutely smashed it. it just, oh, I've done so well today. I've, I've battled my head constantly. I did things that needed to be done. I did things that had a meaning. I wasn't stuck on my phone, you know, fucking swiping on social media, Instagram, just going up, look at other people's lives. And uh, you don't realise how much time you waste and how many things you could do in the day if you were to put your phone down or just get rid of your apps in general. It's, it's absolutely crazy. And to think that um, if I had done this a long time ago, I would be, 
I'd be a completely different animal. This is what it's about now. And this is what I want to progress and get better at. Because I'm going to have my days where I struggle. I'm going to have my days where I relapse. And do things I shouldn't be doing. And just think, ah, oh, you know, this bed's comfy. You know, this seat's comfy. I'm going to sit here and um, not eat or uh, not train or not do my university work. Uh, I'm going to have days like that where it, it's going to be an overwhelming feeling. But I've got to remember days like today where I can go to bed fucking accomplished. And knowing that I've done everything in my power to get everything done. It's a very powerful feeling. And I want to feel this. I want to feel like this every night. I don't want to go a day without feeling this. And if I do, if I do succumb, then I would do it everything in my power to make sure that the next day is not wasted this is today i've turned a corner and um i'm not sure if it was because uh, of the video journal maybe it didn't uh, allow me to be more focused and that i had to do things so i can document them um so i'll keep on doing this uh, maybe upload a video every other day and see how it goes. Um, but today, pff, I've done 16,000 steps. I've done 45 minutes of uh, direct cardio on the exercise bike. And I've done a chest, ses a chest session. I'm feeling healthy now and I feel happy now. I'm not going to bed like just attacking myself mentally because I didn't do what I need to be done. I missed meals or I missed sessions or... Uh, I didn't walk enough, or I spent too long on that fucking sofa. You know, or I had a nap when I didn't need to have a nap. I uh, I smashed it today, and I'm so proud of myself. Now on to the part where I uh, talk about why I'm doing this. Uh, why I'm recording myself doing this. And it goes back a long time ago. I'll try and make this as quick as possible. Uh, but I've, I've had anxiety my entire life. I've tried to manage it as best I can. And it's definitely shaped me into the person I am today. Very quiet, very reserved, introverted. It's affected me a lot making friends and keeping friends. Which I'm so grateful for the friends I have now. When I found weightlifting, it brought out a whole new side of me. It, it made me confident. And there have been times, you know, four years ago, for example, I became incredibly lean and quite muscular. And holy shit, I would, I thought I was fucking, I thought I had massive fucking balls. I just, I thought I was the fucking alpha. And uh, I just felt amazing within myself. And I couldn't stick to it, shit happened, and instead of sticking to my guns, I lost it. And again, um, the year after, uh, I found myself again in the summer. Although I was a bit chubbier, I managed to get that muscle back that I had. I was able to build on it, and boy was I a bulky fucker. Like, uh, you know, I, w I wasn't lean. But uh, I looked like I lifted. I was I was I was a big guy. I look. It was it's that type of shape where you look good in clothing. Um, and unfortunately, it all came to an end, October twenty nineteen. That month, I picked up a injury, and at first, I thought nothing of it, and it kept on progressing, uh, worse and worse. And it was a uh, it was an injury that I first attributed to being. Um, coming from my back but it turns out it was a, a problem with my my psoas um which i found out you know a year later when it was properly examined because of covid everything was shut down so i couldn't go to a sports therapist or chiropractor for a long period of time um by then my body was set in that pain and that tightness it's recently diagnosed with scoliosis because of this injury because i've had it for so long uh, it's it's mild, 
but the curve is there. <clears throat> um, and that flipped my life upside down because I couldn't weight lift anymore. I, I didn't have an outlet. I couldn't lift weights, which made me happy. And I couldn't do that. And I just wasn't happy. I, I tried my, I didn't try my best. I, I said I tried my best to get there. I didn't try my best. You know, it was always played down to be a standard injury, you know, eight weeks out. And then so it's eleven weeks out and I was after and after I was I was I didn't help myself, I was gaining weight like crazy. And it fucked me up. It it ruined my mental health. I, then I went through an awful load of things, you know, long COVID. Um somebody very close to me died. I lost two dogs in the space of a few months who were there were there for me for 12 years and that was tough um, I was with I was with a girl my partner <clears throat> my ex-partner now we started off so well it was just like fucking boom oh we had the band it was just we had that connection and um, COVID was very bad for the both of us Instead of helping each other through our issues, we were feeding off each other's issues. We weren't help. We weren't trying to push each other to do things. We were stuck, and we were sort of enabling each other's bad behaviors. Um, uh, she became very sensitive, and I became very reactive, and that is not a good combo. I'm not one to start arguments. I never have been. I don't like conflict. Uh, I'm a very anxious, introverted person. I don't like that. And um, and I was doing it. It was just like someone, something took over my fucking head. Be doing this to someone that I fucking loved. We'd just have arguments over the stupidest shit. And we were just making each other's lives miserable. Finally, it ended in, the relationship ended in uh, late July. That fucking hurt. You spend almost three years with somebody, you know, that's not, you know, that's not going to not hurt. And it sucked. I came back home from uni and it was, uh, we, my family had this puppy and he was eight months old. I sort of took him underneath my wing. I trained him. I was out with him every single day. And then he got ill. Bear in mind, this is, you know, I can't quite a comment if I said, but this was three weeks afterwards. He got ill, and within 24 hours, he was fucking dead. And I don't know what happened. I just became numb. And I decided enough was fucking enough. I didn't want to feel like shit anymore. I felt like nothing else can go wrong. What fucking else can go wrong? How, how low can I fucking go? And my fucking answer was, there's nothing, there's nothing on this fucking earth that could have made me go lower. It's been three months. I've lost um, two and a half stone. I am becoming the old me. I am becoming the person that I was four years ago. And I'm going to fucking stick with it. I feel like I've been talking about this too long, so I'll quickly go over my goals. I've always been into bodybuilding, and I would like to compete. I would like to have at least one show. I, I'd like to have something where I can push myself mentally and physically and try and get myself to the fucking limits. Uh, because I need something to put my mind to. I need something big. I've never had a big goal. I've only had the small goals. I've never had a long-term goal. Overall, you know, overall, I just want to get fitter, healthier. I want to be the fucking confident person that I was all those years ago. I don't want to be a fucking emotional mess where things can trigger me and, you know, I'd either fucking start crying or I shut down. And I don't talk to anyone. I want to be strong again. I want to re. I want to reclaim my life. And I want to prove people wrong.
the more so I want to prove myself wrong. I want to prove that version of me three months ago that said I'd never get to this point. That I'd just give up, gain more weight, and probably die early. I want to prove that version of me wrong. I think I've been rambling for a bit too long. I should have really had some sort of uh, a script or notes to uh, keep me a bit uh, structured. But uh, it's a learning experience. It's my first time and I feel awkward. I'm looking at you from cameras. I'm saying uhs and ands a lot. I'd like to do it more. I don't care if nobody sees this. I, I just like to have something there for me when I uh, when I get to that point or even when I'm struggling down the road the process is the most important part I'm gonna get through it I'm Oliver I'm 24 years old hopefully I'll be consistent with uploading and uh, I'd like to do something with this I can get used to this alright I'll see you in the next one.